In Creo Parametric, you can place symbols from a palette onto your drawing. To do that, go to the Annotate tab and then the Symbol dropdown. And you have three different choices over here, Custom Symbol, Symbol Gallery, but the one that you want is Symbol from Palette. And in here, there are two groups of symbols. The ones over on the left allow free attachment. The ones over on the right are attached onto an entity. Honestly, I almost never use the ones on the right. I just use the ones on the left. So for example, let's start out by placing this one over here and then move your mouse where you want it to appear on the drawing and then you can left click in order to drop it. Then you can attach more or drop more of these instances onto the drawing. But if that's the only one of this one that I want, I will click the close dialog box. It is still selected on here. You'll notice that there are a few different drag handles on here. And two of them allow you to reposition where the symbol appears. The others allow you to scale the size up and down depending on how big you want it to appear. With it selected, you can also hold down the right mouse button and use Edit Definition for finer control. For example, maybe I want to have an exact height of 0.5 for that one. So that's good for this one. Let me click the OK button. And then I have a few fasteners over here. Let's drop in a symbol that has a value applied. So for example, this one is the torque symbol. Let me select this one and then I will drop it on here. And when I go to drop it on here, it asks me the text for the torque value. So maybe I want to use a value of five for this one. I can change the set of units if I want to, but I will accept those units and then click the OK button. That way I have a nice little torque symbol on here. And let's drop one more symbol on the sheet. Let's go to the symbol command again. Maybe I want the one for compliance. I believe that's European compliance. And just drop it on here. And when I'm happy, just click the close button. The symbols on that palette are just a Creole parametric drawing. And you can navigate to that drawing and open it up if you want to. If I go to the open icon, I'm going to navigate to where I have Creole parametric installed on my computer. It's under Program Files PTC by default. I have a number of different versions. So let's take a look at the Creo 6 Drawing Symbol Palette. Then we go to the Common Files. And then inside of here, let me change the views just to list. Here we go to Symbols and then Palette. And here is a Creo Parametric Drawing Draw Symbol Palette. You can click the Open button. And there's the Symbol Palette that we have by default. Now, if you're wondering what the names of these different symbols are, you can go to the Annotate tab and then go to Symbol and Custom Symbol. And then we have the drop down list. And this lists all the different symbols that we have on here. So, for example, some of the ones that I was not familiar with there's this one URL C. I don't know what that's for. Uh, but again, you can drop down and say, okay, which is the one that's the lightning bolt? Okay, that's the lightning bolt. And see all the different names in here. So for example, there's the caution symbol, so forth and so on. Be aware that you can customize the palette. This is something that I've actually done in a, another video. If I go to File Options, Configuration Editor, and then scroll down in my own config.profile, here we have an option for symbol instance palette file. And I have that pointing to a drawing on my local drive. And that way, when I go to the symbol palette, I have an extra icon on there that I've thrown onto my own custom symbol. Again, I've shown how to do that in a different video if you are interested in customizing your own palette. But otherwise, just go to the symbol drop down symbol from palette and that way you can access these various different predefined symbols that you want to drop onto your drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up 
And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.